anywhere you go, there's country music, and I'm huge fan of country music. So I get to enjoy it here because I'm not allowed to listen to it at home. Nobody <laughs> <laughs> likes it. <laughs> Rightly so, you know. Uh, yeah. No so, way. Yeah. What do you mean? <laughs> country music rocks. I love country. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> at home, my my kids and my husband they go like, oh uh, my goodness. Here we they go again. Cannot, they just can't stand it. Yeah. I grew up without a dad. I my father passed away um, or had a car accident when I was about six. So that was kind of, uh, it was always hard. I always, you know, grow, I always wanted to have a dad. And um, it was weird for me that I didn't have one and everybody had one. And I, I mean, uh, it's nice to go out. How many times as a kid did you go out when you were growing up? Like how many times did you go to, to a restaurant with your parents? Uh, I don't even remember. It was a treat. <laughs> it was a treat, like yeah. once a month. Exactly. So, you know, and you, you you do these. It's, it's and as an adult, this should be something that it's you know you do it sometimes as a as a you know being out with friends. It's like a social thing, but it's not a stomach stuffing thing. You know, yeah. a lot of the um, vegan restaurants have you know substitution meats, and which I think the I, I really think if you go vegan, it better be beans. <laughs> you know, have <laughs> lentils, beans. So substitution meat should be really something that you have on occasion, you know, but not something you shouldn't be living off of tofu as your meat substitute. Mm. So I had him for two weeks right down to what he all eats. And it wasn't bad stuff, but it was so high in sugar. He was literally a fruitarian and he would have, sometimes it was a crazy number. I don't really exactly recall, but 12 or 14 bananas a day, what? you know? Yeah. I was like, oh my God. So I was on an elliptical, and some guy looked over to me and um, smiled, and I was like, wow, that guy looked like Brian McKnight. <laughs> and I guess, if you guys know who that is. Yeah, he's like a rap star, yeah. isn't he? Yeah. Oh, he's an R&B singer. R&B, like sorry. Yeah, like he yeah. does like love songs, you know? Yeah. And me, as a, like when I was like in my 14, 15, 16, I loved him. <laughs> wow, that guy looks so much like Ryan McKnighton while I was pregnant. And I was waiting tables um, almost until I was about seven or almost close to eight, seven, eight months pregnant. Wow. Which, you know, I don't, I, I didn't have a work permit anymore. And um, I, when I had heard, thank you so much, Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> <laughs> he had a, wasn't governor at the time. He had a restaurant in Santa Monica. When I was able to get out of that marriage, I was running. I was on my way to see Matthew McConaughey. I hope he's going to hear this because I've never told him this part. <laughs> 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 and so I, I went over to his house. I just had give him the paperwork for the divorce. So if you take small little things and you change them and you wait until you get used to them before you do the next change, it doesn't become impossible. And it's not something that you've done it for so many years. Now we don't need to rush changing all of it in two weeks. You know, you can give yourself yeah. time that way you stick to it and it's not going to become something where you go like, okay, well, you know what? It doesn't work. So let's just not do it at all. 